Welcome to the presentation of the Food Innovation Canvas. My name is Jeanette Burhagen and I will here give you a short introduction to the Food Innovation Canvas. The Food Innovation Canvas have been developed with the intention to be used as a tool for small and medium enterprises to reflect and gather information about their business and innovations and thereby develop innovation and business strategies. By filling in these pages, the SMEs will produce a collection of reflections to inform and guide about their business activities and innovation processes. This information can be used both within the company, but also if shared, to reach out and inspire other companies and organizations. The Food Innovation Canvas consists of two pages. On the first page, it will gather information about the SME's core business, its collaborators and its customers, and it will also be a reflection on how the business is run today. The second page will gather information about your innovation and is meant to be used as a documental tool and method for reflecting about future innovations. A set of questions are also provided in each of the boxes within the Food Innovation Canvas. Those questions will help you to know what to fill in in the different pages and sections of the canvas. We will also give you a guide on how to fill in the Food Innovation Canvas in the videos. Thank you and good luck. I will now guide you through how to fill in the Food Innovation Canvas. The Food Innovation Canvas consists of two pages, where on the first page we want you to fill in information about your business, starting with the company name and location and your role in the company. We will then go through different boxes and after each box I will give some example from a fictive company. In the first box, we want you to fill in the main business and functions and describe what part of the value chain you're in and what type of business you're doing. In our fictive company, the part of the value chain was primary production and processing, and the type of business was farming and production. In the second box, we want you to fill in the key activities. Answering the questions, what are the key activities within the company and what activities set your company apart from others? In our example company, the activities was farming strategy, pre-processing of the harvest, harvest time, organic farming and our pre-processed process that is unique. In the next box is about the key resources. What specific key resources or assets are available within your company? In our fictive company, it was the farming monitor system, process lines, employees and knowledge. We will continue with the box regarding the key partners and collaborators, answering the questions, identify your company's key partners, what key resources does the company receive from these partners, and what activities are performed by these partners. And also, why do your company work with these key partners and the motivations behind them? In our fictive company, the key partners was food producers, universities, and research institutes. And what the company received from these partners was increased sales, feedback, and knowledge. And the activities performed by these partners were retail, food production and research. And the reason and the motivations behind working with these partners was increased sale, development and new networks. In the next box, we want you to describe the customer segment. You need to identify your customers. Is it a business to business or a direct market, for instance? Which are the most important customers you have? Are you going for a niche market or a mass market? Now, fictive company, they were only selling to business to business. In the next box, we want you to, to know which channels you are using. Are your company having a store? Are you selling on the web? Selling to gross sales or on fairs? Our fictive company, we're selling only on gross sales and web-based selling. The next box is about sustainability. 
Do your company have any byproducts, side streams? How do you do with the energy consumption solutions and material efficiency, storage, or do you produce on demand? We want you to explain the sustainability thoughts within your company. The fictive company, they used waste for energy production and they had dry storage. In the bottom part of this first page, we want you to continue to describe the main type of innovation within the company. Is it product, knowledge, sales, packaging, process and management? Which is the most normal innovation that you make in the company? In our example, it was farming efficiency, product and pre-processing optimization and product development. In the last box of this first page, we want you to describe your dream team and think outside the box if you could choose whoever you want to collaborate with, both within the company, but also external collaborators, other companies or branches, uh, knowledge institutes or universities. The dream team for our example company within the company was that the team consisting of people from each section within the company and the outside collaborators should be universities, research institutes, trade organizations, and retailers. Thank you for listening to this first page. I will soon come back guiding you through how to fill in the second page of the Food Innovation Canvas. <laughs>